subscribe to Tech Droids and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update in the future. Yo what's up guys, Yusuf here from TechDroids and welcome back to our brand new video on the channel. And in today's video I take you guys over another Ryzen 5 2400G gaming PC build, this time for $450. Now I've done these in the past and you might be wondering why another one, these are getting boring. But all these in the past you guys have had issues with the motherboard BIOS or with the RAM or with some other component of this PC. But this is going to be the no compromise ultimate Ryzen 5 2400G gaming PC build. So in this video I take you guys over all the parts you need to build this PC. Also towards the end of the video, we'll talk about the future upgrades and the performance numbers and the benchmarks of this PC. And with that being said, all the parts that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description to Amazon US and those are affiliate links. So if you wanna help the channel out and in turn help me make more videos, go ahead, buy from those. And it just helps the channel out. And with that out of the way, let's get to the build. Starting off with the CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 2400G. It has four cores and eight threads. It's unlocked so you can overclock it. Comes with a clock speed of 3.6 GHz on the base and can go up to 3.9 on the boost. Has Vega 11 graphics clocked at 1200 MHz and the 11 stands for 11 compute units. Has a 65W TDP and comes with its own Wraith Stealth cooler so you don't need a third party one. And retails for only $169 and this is a really good deal. Now to house that CPU, we have the Gigabyte GA B350 AMD S3H. It's AM4 B350 M motherboard in the micro ATX form factor. 4 DDR4 slots, USB 3.1 Gen 1, USB 3.0, M.2, HDMI, RGB Fusion and for $69.99 this is a really good deal. And also the best feature of all is that it works out of the box with the Ryzen 5 2400G, also with the Ryzen 3 2200G. Now for RAM we have 8GB of Patriot Viper 4 at 3000MHz. Now this is two 4GB sticks so it is dual channel and at 3000MHz so that's a very healthy clock speed and 8GB should be more than enough in 2018 for gaming and doing modern day-to-day -day tasks. Video editing and live streaming is also possible. For only $90, you're getting a really high speed RAM that to a dual channel kit, so you should be happy. Also, if you can wait or buy offline to get the best deal, that's also possible. Now for mass storage, we have the WD Blue one terabyte hard drive at 7200 RPM, 64 megabytes of cache and a 3.5 inch small form factor. For only $44, you can house your movies, your games, your big files, your media, your pictures, whatever you want to for days to come and a terabyte of space for $44 and you can really not complain. Now to power this whole build up, we have the Thermaltake Smart 500 watt power supply. This is 80 plus white certified and also comes with a five year warranty. 80 plus white certification means you'll get 80% plus efficiency at all times or at least in ideal conditions. And that five year warranty means that if anything goes wrong with the power supply, you can go ahead and contact Thermaltake and they'll fix it for you. And for only $35, this is a really good deal. And 500 watts should be able to power this whole build up and also leave some room for future upgrades. So that's a really good deal as well. Now to wrap this whole build up, we have the Corsair Carbide Spec 04. This is a really good looking case in the ADX mid tower form factor, has a clear side panel and is available in a bunch of color combinations. We have the black and red here with USB 3.0 and audio jacks. For only $44, you can really not complain. So that kind of wraps it up for the build guys. Now let's talk about performance and future upgrades. Performance will be great. You can watch my other Ryzen 5 2400G builds Performance should be very decent on this build. Without a dedicated GPU, you should be able to play all the modern AAA tiles from low to medium settings on 720p or 1080p. Now 720p, I know you guys are already commenting who wants to play at 720p, but keep your expectations down. PC parts pricing is high. Also, you don't have a dedicated GPU in this build. And the power of the integrated Vega chip is actually really good. Also, if you're an esports gamer, Rocket League, CSGO, Dota 2, League of Legends, World of Warcraft, Team Fortress 2, all those games will run really good at 1080p, medium to max settings, and you should get 60 or 100 FPS depending upon the settings you choose. Also, you can do some video editing on this. It has four cores and eight threads, so live streaming and video editing will do really well on this. You can use things like After Effects and Premiere Pro. Not guaranteeing 4K video edits, but still, you can do light 1080p video editing, no problem. Also, talking about the future upgrades, you can upgrade basically everything in this build. You can go up to Ryzen 7 if you wanted to in the future. Also, you can upgrade their memory. You can add 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, whatever. Four slots are there, so add memory to your heart's content. You can upgrade the storage, add a SSD. That's what I recommend. It's in the description down below. It's optional and should really improve the performance of this PC in terms of UI responsiveness. And also talking about future upgrades, a graphics card is really necessary in this build. So if you want to do anything more than normal light gaming, you should add a graphics card. A GX 1050 or RX 560 or anything that comes out in the future will be compatible with this PC. Also, I'll have some graphics cards linked in the description down below and they are optional as well. So check them out and see which one fits your budget. And that's about it for the build guys. Thanks so much for watching. If this was helpful, go ahead, thumbs up on this video. Also, I make PC builds and PC part videos and also just technology in general, like smartphone unboxings and laptops and stuff. So if you're into that sort of a thing, 
subscribe to the channel, hit that notification thingy so you don't miss out on future uploads. Comment down below what are your thoughts on this build and also in general about the video. And I'll be down there replying to you guys in the comment section. And with that being said, guys, thanks so much for watching and peace.